So I've been on VidMe for a while, and I'm going to do just an honest critique of VidMe. Now, the first thing you're going to notice when you get to the site is the layout. Now, one thing I like about VidMe is it tries hard to have its own original layout. It's not like a lot of those YouTube altern alternatives like Zipcast or VidBit, where, or even Vidlil, that's the one that's still up, Vidlil, 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 Vidlin, that's what I call it. Where it's just trying to look like old school YouTube. VidMe is doing its own style, kind of similar to what VidBit Future was doing. And it actually looks pretty good for the most part. It's convenient, it's easy to understand, and overall, I like it. You know, it's not particularly hard. It's not convoluted to get through, it's pretty basic overall, and it's just overall basic, <laughs> easy to use. The categories are also pretty good. Again, the menus are all usually 4x4 if you're watching it on a full, or just 4 in a line. Is it 4? Sorry, about like 6 in the line if you're looking at it on a full screen and a basic percentage, at least how I look at it. And again, it's convenient to use. It's really easy to find. It's easy to find videos. Now, the uploading is what I think VidMe does. Eh, it's not like other websites where there's a full menu for the video. Like on YouTube, you get it, you get this menu, and you get to type it. No, for VidMe, it just if you upload a video, you go to the video manager page, and you have to make changes from there. I don't personally like that all that much. It makes it a little harder to make changes, but it's something I can adapt to. What I do like about VidMe, and this is why I think it's better than all the other YouTube startups, it has one thing they don't, and that is it actually allows you to upload content that could compete with YouTube. It allows you to upload longer content. You know, if you remember VidBit, that had a, it, that had a maximum of about 100 megabytes. And, was it megabytes? Yeah, I think it was megabytes. And 10 minutes. It had those maximums. So because of that, it was pretty hard to get engaging content up on the site because nothing's less engaging than being told, okay, guys, you're going to have to click over there for part two because this video was 117 megabytes, and you see part two, it's only about three minutes, and you just watched a nine-minute video. You know, that's not engaging to put together. That's more <laughs> annoying than anything else. VidMe doesn't have that. And the other thing, and this is also what sunk Zipcast extremely far down, because if you remember Zipcast, I thought could have been a really good YouTube competitor. The upload speeds are extremely quick. Here, it's not like, again, Zipcast, where you have to spend 14 hours to upload a 14-minute video. <laughs> you know, if you used Zipcast, you know what I'm talking about. And the speed is really good. Again, this is what really sunk Zipcast. It was like if 10 people were watching a video, it just loaded constantly. Like, I think it took me about 3 to 4 hours in one case to just try and watch a 20-minute video because of how bad the server was on Zipcast. No joke. VidMe fixes this, and that's why I think it is probably the best out of all the YouTuber alternatives right now. And that's really it. I'm Afram, and good night.